So we are in Tsukwa Kif and uh, this is the Kolnish. Uh, let us try to move around and see how the park looks like. Uh, let us try to enjoy the park itself. Alright? So you move with me as we try to see how uh, the park looks like. How better it's where it's organized, uh, which is pretty something that we need to understand or something. Uh, over that side is Sukwa Kif. For people who know Sukwaki, that is Sukwaki. Remember, this is also going to be a fun, a fun zone for the FIFA World Cup fans. That is how it is. That is a spring mosque. So we let us try to move and uh, see how this place looks like.
looking at uh, how the FIFA World Cup is going on, Qatar, and we are seeing actually how they are trying to organize, how they are trying to prepare for the FIFA World Cup, Qatar 2022. Right now, we are trying to move to what you call the flag area of the flag plaza. Then also, something that I'm going to show you is what you call the giant screen. Actually, the biggest giant screen ever to show or that will be showing the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. We are talking about Qatar 2022 and the time is now. All is now when we are talking about this is exactly what's happened this is the giant screen that is going to showcase the matches for those people that will not be able to go into the stadium they will definitely have they will have the opportunity to watch the matches from here and uh, this is what you definitely you need to see how Qatar is preparing itself for the World Cup 2022 you know uh, I, uh, the World Cup is starting on um, uh, 20th uh, and it will be the opening match that will be starting with the host country Qatar then it will be playing against Ecuador which is also going to be a, a very big match for the start so this is the giant screen look at how it is and how definitely look at the area itself is very spacious that much as the people will be able to try to enjoy whatever they will have to try to be do they will still have to watch the match they will still watch the matches uh, without even hassle so these are genetic billboards that i say for the these genetic billboards you see they, they, they actually feature the superstars uh, being selected by individual teams uh, in, in those particular countries. And this is exactly that we are seeing right now. So this is the giant screen. Just see how it is. Uh, it's the biggest or one of the giant screens uh, in the world that is going to be hosting what you call the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. So let us try to continue to explore and see how Qatar is preparing for the FIFA World Cup. It's all now and is now the FIFA World Cup. Just a few days to have the FIFA World Cup game uh, start. So this is how they, they actually look at how it is actually. Uh, they're trying to organize how everything is trying to look. Let's try to move around and see. We are getting to what you call the flag plaza. That is where we are heading. We are heading to what we call the flag plaza and we also want to see how it definitely looks like you know this is a giant screen wow so amazing uh, for people that have not come here and people will be able to see it around here they'll be able to see it in this round uh, trimmed and they'll be able to watch the matches from here which is quite something that someone cannot imagine no one or the other So let us try to move straight to a flag plaza. Then we can also see how definitely this place looks like. That is what I'm talking about. Wow, that is what you call the genetic uh, screen that is going to showcase the only giant screen in the Middle East that is going to show the FIFA World Cup. This is how it is uh, they are trying to organize their country, preparing, preparing for the FIFA World Cup. Remember the time is now and we are only talking about the FIFA World Cup. We are not talking about anything now. It is the FIFA World Cup and it's Qatar 2022 that is actually trending now. Uh, for those hashtag, hashtag Qatar 2022, you definitely see, you definitely know what I'm talking about. So that is the Galilee Al Quay. And we are trying to move to the flag plaza. Then we see how it looks like also. So this is what you call the flag plaza. And uh, I'm trying to show you exactly how this one looks like. And uh, maybe you can have a see. This is the artistic. This is how it is on very beautiful so you can definitely move around see
see we in the flood plaza. All right. So this is how it goes and this is how it looks like. This is Colnish, Wayne Colnish. This is quite interesting. All countries flags. All countries flags in this one area. You definitely see how people are piled up in one area and which is actually good. So we are going to move around and try to see what are some of the individual countries and see whether your country is one of these ones, whether the flag is hosted, then definitely you say, wow, this is quite very beautiful and this is what we, we need to have and see in one way or the other. So these are floating suits. Yes. An interesting story. This is what we need to see. It's quite amazing how this thing was done. The art itself is what takes you. And uh, yes, this is very amazing. It's amazing. Yes! Wow! That's Leon Messi for people, the Argentinian fans. That's Leon Messi. Alright. We're moving. We in Colnish. We in the near the flag plaza. Yes. We want to see the country's flags and how they look like. This is how it's very beautiful. All countries of the world, including the UN, including the UAI, EU, all the country flags are here, just right over here. So let's try to move around. Thank you. 